Hello everyone, I am back with a new video on active and passive voice. In my last video, I had taught you the few basic rules of transforming sentences from active voice to passive voice and as I had promised, I am here again uh, to teach you the next basic rules of changing active voices into passive voices. Today we will start with uh, another uh, new rule like what you have to do when verbs follow or verbs are followed by prepositions. Today we are first going to deal with the rule when verbs are followed by prepositions. Now what you have to do or what do what do you need to check? Whenever you find that active verbs are followed by prepositions, uh, those verbs always retain, okay, they retain them when they are changed into passive voice. So, let me first write down the rule and then I will support this statement with few examples that will make this thing clear. So, active verbs followed by prepositions retain them when they are changed into passive voice. So, how do we do that? Let me give you an example. So, let us take this sentence for instance, she did not care for me. So, as you can see this sentence has been written in the active voice. Okay. So, over here this entire thing okay, did not care for. Okay. This entire thing is actually this, this whole thing can be treated as your verb okay your active verb now as i said these like while changing the sentence into passive voice the verbs will be retained okay they will be retained uh, now how do we do that so as i said the the active object will always become the passive subject Okay, while changing. So, over here the active uh, object is me. Now, me, how do we change the me? Uh, I had already told this in my last video. We, uh, when we are using personal pronouns, uh, we normally change the word me to I. Okay, so I, now over here did not care for this thing will be shifted to I was not cared for by her. See again this she your active subject 
got transformed into passive object and while transforming the active subject into passive object if we have the, the if we have any personal pronoun as our active subject that also i have told you how to do that the she will change into the word her okay and so this is now your passive voice we have another uh, sentence over here they shouted at the naughty boy they shouted at the naughty boy so this is our active voice right now while changing this into uh, our passive voice as i said this is our active sub uh, active object over here which will get transformed into our passive subject so we have we have to start with uh, uh, you know our our subject over here that is the passive subject so we'll have to start with the naughty boy now this verb okay shouted at this verb will be retained now how we'll have to add this was okay the naughty boy was shouted at i have to add the word by now this pronoun they will be transformed into them so you have your passive voice for this particular sentence all right now we move on to the next rule what do we have to do if we get interrogative sentences to transform into passive voice okay now the next one is or our next focus is interrogative sentences okay next focus is interrogative sentences all right so what do we do so uh, when you get any interrogative sentence so those sentences you know are changed into passive voice and they always retain their interrogative form you have to remember this okay what what is an interrogative form nothing but questioning form okay so whenever you are changing an interrogative sentence from active to passive voice you have to remember you cannot change the questioning form of the sentence all right so what do you have to remember is that when interrogative sentences are changed into passive voice they retain their interrogative form right so how do you do that example the first sentence 
do you obey your parents just try to uh, transform the sentence on your own along with me okay try to uh, think on uh, the answer before i write so that will help you practice this thing also so do you obey your parents okay do you obey your parents now the basic rule will be the same all right whenever you are changing a passive voice uh like changing into a passive voice your active object becomes your passive subject and your active subject becomes your passive object this will be maintained in all your forms in all your sentences okay no matter what kind of a sentence is that so over here your active object is this word right your parents isn't it so your parents will become your passive subjects uh, subject that which means that you need to start your sentence with your parents but if i start with like uh, see in maths you always do rough work right so over here also you need to like if you know the answer well and good but if you have to just uh, you know follow the uh, the rules if you have to follow the uh, the steps and then come to an answer then you must keep on doing the rough work now how you do i'll show you now as you know we have this basic rule in our hand that is we need to change the active uh, object into passive subject so which means we need to start our sentence with the word your parents right so this is our passive subject subject now so your parents and then you have do you obey okay your parents uh now what I, what do i have to do i have this verb over here okay the verb will be retained now your parents it will be like this obeyed and as i said we have to add the word by and then the active subject becomes your passive object so this is our subject you which becomes our object now so neither this sentence is but now you have to uh, uh, go again back to the to the rule you have to retain the interrogative form as well so neither this answer is written in an interrogative form nor is it a complete sentence right so what do i have to do to change this into an interrogative sentence and it will also have to have a proper meaning as well so over here okay your parents in order to change this into a, a passive voice i have to add the word r okay so because over here the the hidden uh, uh, you know verb the hidden verb is r okay do you obey your parents uh if you have to answer you'll have to say my parent i obey my parents or my parents are obeyed okay so the hidden uh, verb again is the word r so i have to start the sentence with the word r okay are your parents obeyed by you then only it will change into its interrogative form and as well as in the passive voice okay now let us look at uh, another sentence how does she how does she do 
all this. This is again written in the active voice. Now I have to change this sentence into a passive voice retaining its interrogative form. Over here this how will remain the same if I have to change the sentence into passive voice. Okay, if I don't write the how over here, I cannot, uh, you know, I cannot help the sentence retain its interrogative form. So, how all this, okay, all this is my active object in the sentence. So, how is all this? done okay this do will become done you have to add the word by and again we have a personal pronoun in our uh, subject okay so she will turn into her how is all this done by her this is our passive voice okay let's take another uh, sentence over here who keeps the accounts How do you write this or how do you change this? Either you write like this that is by whom are the accounts kept or if you have to follow uh, the rule again who are the accounts kept by question mark both of these are your passive voices okay now we move on to a very vital segment like if you are appearing your ICSC or ISC uh, in uh, you know your ICSC ISC your CBSC if you have to rewrite you get a question like rewrite the following sentences uh, according to the given commands okay or according to the given instructions so over there you'll uh, get to see sentences starting with let okay uh, or you need to change the voice you get a sentence and you have to change the voice from active to passive uh, using the word let okay most of the time we get such sentences so what do we do when we get commands in our sentences okay or commanding sentences so uh, our next focus will be and this will be the last uh, focus uh, in today's video okay so, the next uh, is and the last will be that I will be dealing with in this video is command or I can write it as commands. Okay. Now, how do I do that? Suppose 
you have a sentence like open the door and it's written in your active voice right okay open the door now you are asking someone to open the door so how do you change this uh, if you have to uh, for example like in in a simple uh, uh, simple form to follow the basic rule if i have to change this into passive voice what do i do i first start the sentence with uh, my subject and my subject over here will be my active object will change into my passive subject right so i start the sentence like the door now over here open and i have nothing else i just have like the verb over here is my command itself so what do i do i i i get the instruction as the door i have to open the door okay i i have no other option i have been told to uh, do the work and i must do that uh, i i i must do that work right so there is uh, some uh, you know uh, 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 you know forceful thing or rather uh, there there is something which i must do so in in such a case i write the sentence as the door should be opened now in such cases we don't write by me or by you because over here we don't have any hint as to if i am being told or if uh, someone else is getting the instruction so we will stop the sentence like the door should be opened and we will stop the sentence over here there is no need to write by me or by you or by him right so this is my passive voice now if i have to change the voice using the word let how do i do that simple i will start the sentence with the word let the door be opened i'll just simply add the word let i'll keep the uh, you know uh, subject okay or uh, yeah the, the subject intact and then your verb that is be opened let and we have to write the word be along with it okay let the door be opened now suppose i have another sentence like sell this bike off sell this bike off to follow the simple uh, instruction this bike i start first with this form this bike should be sold off this is my passive voice now if i have to use the word let i start the sentence with the word let i keep this as it is let this bike be sold off right now what do i do if my sentences begin with let how do i change suppose i need to uh, now again suppose i get a sentence like let him take the next turn okay so what do i do 
in such a case we will retain the same form we will start the sentence with the word let as it is okay we will start the sentence with the word let again the same thing will be done over here like when the sentence when you get a sentence starting with the word let and you have to change it you, you just simply need to change the sentence into its passive voice what you have to do you simply start the sentence with the word let and again the same thing you change uh, your active object into your passive subject let the next turn now when i'm writing the sentence with the word let i add the word be and then i write the participle form of the given verb the participle form of this verb is taken now over here we have or we had a subject we had a common sorry uh, an active subject so now we need to change the active subject into passive object if you don't have any active subject like in the uh, first sentence under this segment that is open the door over there we didn't have any active subject so there was no need for us to uh, change any subject into object right but over here since we have an active subject we will have to change that into our passive object so what do we do we again add the word by be taken by him okay so this is how we transform such a sentence into a passive voice okay all right so uh, these are the few or these were the few uh, basic rules uh, which we need to follow while transforming active voices into passive voices but again there are see there is no end to a language there there can be no end to the rules there can be no end to the variations so if you need to know anything else like if you come across anything else if you get stuck at any other uh, you know sentence where you cannot transfer you can always get in uh, touch with us okay you can write to us uh, uh, and and in case you, you like the videos please do like share okay uh, and uh, please don't forget to like share our videos and uh, keep watching okay and I promise to quickly return with some other topic in my next video. Thank you.